why I changed my mind. Who else did Mr. Tushman call? I asked Mom later that night. Did he tell you? He mentioned Julian and Charlotte. Julian? I said. Ugh! Why Julian? You used to be friends with Julian. Mom, that was like in kindergarten. Julian's the biggest phony there is. And he's trying so hard to be popular all the time. Well, said Mom, at least Julian agreed to help this kid out. Gotta give him credit for that. I didn't say anything because she was right. What about Charlotte? I asked. Is she doing it too? Yes, Mom said. Of course she is. Charlotte's such a goody two-shoes, I answered. Boy, Jack, said Mom. You seem to have a problem with everybody these days. It's just, I started. Mom, you have no idea what this kid looks like. I can imagine. No, you can't. You've never seen him. I have. It might not even be who you're thinking it is. Trust me, it is. And I'm telling you, it's really, really bad. He's deformed, Mom. His eyes are like down here. I pointed to my cheeks. And he has no ears. And his mouth is like... Jamie had walked into the kitchen to get a juice box from the fridge. Ask Jamie, I said. Right, Jamie? Remember that kid we saw in the park after school last year? The kid named August? The one with the face? Oh, that kid? Said Jamie, his eyes opening wide. He gave me a nightmare. Remember, Mommy? The nightmare about the zombies from last year? I thought that was from watching a scary movie, answered Mom. No, said Jamie. It was from seeing that kid. When I saw him, I was like, ah, and I ran away. Wait a minute, said Mom, getting serious. Did you do that in front of him? I couldn't help it, said Jamie, kind of whining. Of course you could help it, Mom scolded. Guys, I have to tell you, I'm really disappointed by what I'm hearing here. And she looked like how she sounded. I mean, honestly, he's just a little boy, just like you. Can you imagine how he felt to see you running away from him, Jamie, screaming? It wasn't a scream, argued Jamie. It was like an, ah! He put his hands on his cheeks and started running around the kitchen. Come on, Jamie, said Mom angrily. I honestly thought that both my boys were more sympathetic than that. What's sympathetic, said Jamie, who was only going into the second grade. You know exactly what I mean by sympathetic, Jamie, said Mom. It's just, he's so ugly, Mommy, said Jamie. Hey, Mom yelled. I don't like that word. Jamie, just get your juice box. I want to talk to Jack alone for a second. Look, Jack, said Mom as soon as he left, and I knew she was about to give me a whole speech. Okay, I'll do it. I said, which completely shocked her. You will? Yes. So I can call Mr. Tushman? Yes, Mom, yes, I said yes. Mom smiled. I knew you'd rise to the occasion, kiddo. Good for you. I'm proud of you, Jackie. She messed up my hair. So here's why I changed my mind. It wasn't so I wouldn't have to hear Mom give me a whole lecture. And it wasn't to protect this August kid from Julian, who I knew would be a jerk about the whole thing. It was because when I heard Jamie talking about how he had run away from August going, Ah! I suddenly felt really bad. The thing is, there are always going to be kids like Julian who are jerks. But if a little kid like Jamie, who's usually a nice enough kid, can be that mean, then a kid like August doesn't stand a chance in middle school. Four things. First of all, you do get used to his face. The first couple of times, I was like, whoa, I'm never going to get used to this. And then after about a week, I was like, huh, it's not so bad. Second of all, 
he's actually a really cool dude. I mean, he's pretty funny. Like, the teacher will say something, and August will whisper something funny to me that no one else hears and totally make me crack up. He's also just overall a nice kid. Like, he's easy to hang out with and talk to and stuff. Third of all, he's really smart. I thought he'd be behind everyone because he hadn't gone to school before, but in most things, he's way ahead of me. I mean, maybe not as smart as Charlotte or Jimena, but he's up there. And unlike Charlotte or Jimena, he lets me cheat off him if I really need to. Though, I've only needed to a couple of times. He's also let me copy his homework once, though we both got in trouble for it after class. The two of you got the exact same answers wrong on yesterday's homework, Miss Rubin said, looking at both of us like she was waiting for an explanation. I didn't know what to say because the explanation would have been, oh, that's because I copied August's homework. But August lied to protect me. He was like, oh, that's because we did our homework together last night, which wasn't true at all. Well... Doing homework together is a good thing, Ms. Rubin answered. But you're supposed to still do it separately, okay? You could work side by side if you want, but you can't actually do your homework together, okay? Got it? After we left the classroom, I said, Dude, thanks for doing that. And he was like, no problem. That was cool. Fourthly, now that I know him, I would say I actually do want to be friends with August. At first, I admit, I was only friendly to him because Mr. Tushman asked me to be especially nice and all that. But now, I would choose to hang out with him. He laughs at all my jokes, and I kind of feel like I can tell August anything. Like he's a good friend. Like, if all the guys in the fifth grade were lined up against a wall and I got to choose anyone I wanted to hang out with, I would choose August. Ex-friends. Bleeding scream? What the heck? Summer Dawson has always been a bit out there, but this was too much. All I did was ask her why August was acting like he was mad at me or something. I figured she would know. All she said was, bleeding scream? And I don't even know what that means. It's so weird because one day, me and August were friends. And the next day, whoosh! He was hardly talking to me, and I haven't the slightest idea why. When I said to him, hey, August, you mad at me or something? He shrugged and walked away. So I would take that as a definite yes, and since I know for a fact that I didn't do anything to him to be mad about, I figured Summer could tell me what's up. But all I got from her was bleeding scream? Yeah, big help. Thanks, Summer. You know... I've got plenty of other friends in school, so if August wants to officially be my ex-friend, then fine. That is okay by me. See if I care. I've started ignoring him like he's ignoring me in school now. This is actually kind of hard since we sit next to each other in practically every class. Other kids have noticed and have started asking if me and August have had a fight. Nobody asks August what's going on. Hardly anyone ever talks to him anyway. I mean, the only person he hangs out with, other than me, is Summer. Sometimes he hangs out with Reed Kingsley a little bit, and the two Maxes got him playing Dungeons and Dragons a couple of times at recess. Charlotte, for all her goody two-shoeing, doesn't ever do more than nod hello when she's passing him in the hallway. And I don't know if everyone's still playing the plague behind his back, because no one ever really told me about it directly, but my point is that it's not like he has a whole lot of other friends he could be hanging out with instead of me. If he wants to diss me, he's the one who loses, not me. So this is how things are between us now. We only talk to each other about school stuff if we absolutely have to. Like, I'll say, what did Ruben say the homework was? And he'll answer, or he'll be like, can I use your pencil sharpener? And I'll get my sharpener out of my pencil case for him. But as soon as the bell rings, we go our separate ways. Why this is good is because I get to hang out with a lot more kids now. 
Before, when I was hanging out with August all the time, kids weren't hanging out with me because they'd have to hang out with him. Or they would keep things from me, like the whole thing about the plague. I think I was the only one who wasn't in on it, except for Summer and maybe the D&D crowd. And the truth is, though nobody's that obvious about it, nobody wants to hang out with him. Everyone's way too hung up on being in the popular group, and he's just as far from the popular group as you can get. But now, I can hang out with anyone I want. If I wanted to be in the popular group, I could totally be in the popular group. Why this is bad is because, well, A, I don't actually enjoy hanging out with the popular group that much, and B, I actually liked hanging out with August. So this is kind of messed up. And it's all August's fault. <laughs>